he was you know an authority winner um, of the guineas and uh, you know he's like he set the bar so high as a two-year-old and and he, he carried that on as a three-year-old. Native Trail. Native Trail who's going to stay on pink. Native Trail, four in a row with William Buick. He was always a very, very straightforward um, horse to ride. And um, he was he was expected to win this day. And, you know, he was he was uh, obviously an overwhelming favourite after after his wins in the superlative and his very um, commanding win in the in the national sex of the current. Veroff, a race away, and coming out, Glanthorne stumbles a little bit there in the uh, light blue jacket, but is away well enough with the others as they begin, and straight answer, the white sleeves and the dark jacket of best turned out winner Dubawi legend of the first two to show, and they come towards the stand side running well. It was a case of really trying to keep it smooth and and uh, and keep it trouble-free for him, um, and he, he raced in his typical relaxed manner, and uh, he was uh, he was always a horse who responded very well for pressure. And um, you can see, um, I'm just having to ask him a couple of questions to to keep motivated. And then, you know, once I once I ask him some more serious questions, he uh, he picked up instantly. Um, and it was a it was a very con convincing win. And um, it it really. Um, stamped his uh, position as as that year's champion two-year-old a little bit at the moment dababs on the extreme left and Berkshire shadow is following him out wide glanthorn behind these and then bayside boy they're heading down towards the dip now to barbie legend in front in pursuit his native trail moved after him now straight answer behind these yellow cap of bayside boy is running on but it is to barbie legend and james doyle in front here comes native trail to pounce late on and go through the whip native Trail four in a row with William Buick wins. You know, Native Trail was a horse I really enjoyed riding. Um, you know, a he was a super racehorse. He was uh, he, he was had all the qualities that that you would ask for in a two year old and a three year old. Um, but also from a jockey's point of view, he he was just a dream to deal with. Um, he was a real pro, and uh, and he he had this aura about him. He he knew he was good. He's a beautiful looking horse. He's got plenty of size, and you know he he's a real athlete. Um, and he, he just had that confidence uh, about himself. And they're off. Nine runners over one mile in the Tattersall's Irish 2000 Guineas and up for the lead, Ivy League with Atomic Jones, Buckaroo in the centre on the outside is Malex as they settle down. Coming Obviously he had won the Craven and he was, he was an excellent second um, at Newmarket. The obvious route for him to go was, was for the Irish Guineas where you know he'd been he, he'd had a faultless spring and n never i think um charlie always sort of um made the point about native trail that you know all through that winter and all through that spring he, he, he never missed a day never missed a beat and it was uh it was faultless um and um he went into to the cara in, in great form and again he was he, we expected him to win um it was a it, it was a case of again just Really getting the job done, and and look, he he knuckled down, he knuckled down deep, and uh, he showed he showed he trained on. Yeah, he, he's the kind of horse, you know, as a jockey, when you get on him for the first time, you you sort of you notice something different, you know, the, the physical presence that he had, um, and then you sort of think, well, you know, if he can run, then then he's going to be pretty good, um, which. He really could, and uh, I remember first time I rode him at Sandown in the Maiden, where you know he he won very well, and he was always going to improve plenty for the run. So um, you know we were very hopeful that that he would be a, a very nice horse, and you know as a two-year-old he took that step onto the superlative, then onto the national at the Cara, and then onto the Dewhurst at Newmarket. So. Um, that is what a champion two-year-old does, and that's what he did. In the middle of the track, the Imperial Fighter, New Energy, and Duke de Sace, and they race to the final furling and a half. Wexford Native has pressed one from the rail by Native Trail. New Energy from last is running a big race. On the outside is Imperial Fighter. Inside the final 200 yards, it's Native Trail going to the front from Wexford Native. Native Trail, New Energy is running on in the second. Native Trail is back on the winning He was, you know, an authority winner. Um, of the guineas and uh, you know he's like he set the bar so high as a two-year-old and and 
he, he carried that on as a three-year-old and that was certainly his crowning moment um, as a three-year-old as the Cara.